why you can't play games on a Mac. Hey guys, it's Mike Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to talk about four reasons why Apple doesn't allow Macs to play video games. Now, yes, it can run some popular games like Hearthstone or Roblox, but to play Fortnite or Call of Duty, and even Valorant, is a different story. Starting off with number one, we have hardware limitations. MacBooks, especially the thinner and lighter models, often don't have the same beefy graphic capabilities as some dedicated gaming PCs do. They typically use integrated graphics or less powerful dedicated GPUs, which may struggle with demanding games with high settings. Plus, MacBooks often prioritize portability and sleek design, which can mean sacrificing some raw gaming power. Apple wants to look nice and not actually have good gaming power. Many people who buy MacBooks know what they're getting, and that is something that's reliable, but it's also thin, light, that looks good, and most people buy MacBooks just to um, do their schoolwork or their work. So it's not really a gaming laptop. If you're really trying to shop for a gaming laptop, you're gonna have to go to Windows. Next up, software capability. While the selection of games available for macOS has improved over time, it's still not as extensive as you would like um, to find on Windows. Some popular games may not even have a Mac version, and if they do, it might not run as smoothly due to differences in software architecture and optimization. Developers often prioritize Windows because it has a larger gaming market, which can leave Mac users feeling a bit left out. Maybe there's more bugs with Macs, or you're just getting less FPS on Mac, but it doesn't really matter to the game does because maybe like 95% of the user base is using Windows, so they won't really prioritize that or patch the bugs quickly. Number three, culture perceptions. Max has long been associated with more creative work like I told earlier, design, and productivity than gaming. Apple's marketing has focused heavily on these aspects, so gaming often takes a backseat. This can influence both customers and developers, leading to a perception that Macs aren't best for gaming. It's not that they can't handle it, but they might just not be the first choice for hardcore gamers. And lastly, improvements and potential. Despite these challenges, there is still plenty of fun to be had gaming on a MacBook. Any games, older titles, and less demanding games can run just fine. Plus, Apple has been making efforts to improve gaming in on their devices, with advancement in hardware and software, like the move to Apple Silicon and better optimization for macOS. The future of gaming on MacBooks could be brighter, but I don't really think that that's gonna happen anytime soon. Maybe like in 10 years, who knows, MacBooks might have the capability and the technological advancements to the point where Apple can make a sleek and thin design with high battery life while being able to have good thermal performance and perform good gaming. Overall, while gaming on a MacBook might not offer the same experience as a dedicated gaming PC, it's still possible to enjoy plenty of games on these devices. It's all about finding the right balance between performance, compatibility, and personal preference. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys find this video informative.